Yes, so welcome back to Out There, and we are out there at the Oscars. An exciting night here. We're covering the best of the best as we celebrate the film industry. Cheers to that, my friends. Okay, it's going to be an incredible night. Stay tuned. We're going to have celebrities, interviews, behind the scenes, fun facts, giveaways. It doesn't get any better than that. Oh, it does actually. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be toasting the night away with all of you, and I figured I'd go with a nice red that goes with anything. I can sip it all night long. And this is, uh, smells good too. This is Don Paolo and it is from a local winery right here in Ontario, Gallucci Winery. So check it out. I'll be tasting so many other great foods and beverages all night long and you guys can get some giveaways as well. Okay, let's get down to business. It's the business of entertainment. And it's been a long time since the Oscars has had actual hosts. That's right. It's been, what, three years? And they have elevated their game by getting not one, not two, but three of the funniest, talented women in the biz to host this year. I am talking about Regina Hall. We all know her from Girls Trip, The Best Man. Amy Schumer, she's a stand-up comedian, also did Trainwreck, I Feel Pretty. Wanda Sykes, very funny stand-up comedian. Love her and curb your enthusiasm. And of course, a lot of voice acting, including Ice Age. These women rock. It is a great way to bring some humor and some smarts to the Academy Awards this year. Okay, now, the awards, it's about the awards. But let's face it, we're all guessing who the winners are going to be. You know, Vegas is making their predictions. Offices are making their predictions. Okay, so we also have an office ballot. But this year we thought, we're an entertainment show. We have to take this seriously, right? And we did. Oh, we did. We tabulated and we calculated and we did it right. Look at this, huh? Look at all the work we did to make the Oscar predictions at Out There. And we're just gonna see as the night goes on, did Out There get it right? All right, first up, it has been announced. The winner of the best documentary short subject goes to the Queen of Basketball by Ben Proudfoot. All right, Ben, now let's see. Did Out There predict this correctly? Yes, 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 we did. Great way to start the night. And even better, Ben is Canadian. Congratulations, Ben. Ben Proudfoot won for this category. Now, the movie is about Lucy Harris. She's one of the greatest women's basketball players of all time. She's won three national trophies, scored the first basket in women's Olympic basketball in the 1976 Olympics. She was also drafted to the NBA, the NBA. And yet, few people know her name. Until now, until this short documentary, and I got a chance to catch up with the winner, Ben. Check it out. As a matter of fact, the New Orleans Jazz drafted Lucy. The first woman to be a team drafted by a men's basketball team. What do you think is one of the uh, difficult things, the most challenging things about doing a short form documentary and uh, one of the luxuries about telling a story in that format. Yeah, I mean, the most difficult thing is the fact that there's no market for it. All of the money in the movie industry surrounds around television series and feature films. And the short documentary has not really is not really in the scope of of how that works and how those platforms work and how things are marketed. And so the hardest part is figuring out how to pay for it. Mm -hmm. And then the luxury is that you, because it doesn't take a hundred million dollars to make a short documentary, you can read about a story like Lucy Harris and you can go out and make that film. I don't know what else to say about her. <laughs> She's retired now <laughs> and living a happy life. How would you know? <laughs> because I'm Lucy. <laughs> I hear you're pretty good at the magician stuff. I am too. Okay, this is like lip gloss, right? Okay, yeah. Gone. Very impressive. I think your viewers are going to love that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If you can do a magic trick twice, <laughs> it is a trick, my friend. <laughs> All right. I got some skill. Uh, maybe not. All right. So congratulations to Ben, the queen of basketball. And Lucy Harris truly, truly is the queen of basketball. And I have to say, basketball is something I think I've got some skill at. Pretty good at this game. I wouldn't say it was the queen of basketball. 
I think I'm definitely the princess of basketball. And you know, I can see a documentary being made about my basketball skills too. Wow. Yeah, I don't quite remember it like that. Okay. Uh, well, anyways, uh, why don't you stick around? We're going to have some real talented people in this business coming up. More interviews, more behind the scenes, and more giveaways because we're out there at the Oscars. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media at Melissa DeMarco for more exclusive content with your favorite celebs. I'll see you guys out there.